G'day! In today's video I'm doing a display replacement on a Xiaomi Mi 9T, also known as a Redmi K20 or K20 Pro. This one here, the back is also broken. We're ignoring that at this point in time. But we will be replacing the display with a brand new one. So to begin with, I've had it on my blue heat pad here at 75 degrees Celsius for around about five minutes. That helps soften the adhesive on the back and it makes the, the first stage usually fairly simple to do. Especially when I combine it with some isopropyl, a thin metal pry tool. You can use metal, you can use plastic. My preference is metal. But you do run the risk with that of also damaging some of the flex cables in phones. But if I slide this into a groove here, There we go. In. And we've just got a bit of glass there. I'll work around this way first. If the back wasn't broken, I'm assuming this would be considerably easier than what it's going to be. Especially getting this out as one piece. It is gonna be a little bit more challenging that should still be achievable. There we go. So the heat, the isopropyl and the soaring motion tends to work reasonably well. a bit more. Bingo. There we go. One broken panel removed, fully intact. Next up from here, I'm going to want to remove the screws at the top to take this shield off, purely just to disconnect the battery. And then from there, I'm going to be taking the bottom shield off to get access to the screen. So this step here is entirely optional, but, well, some may say optional. If you were doing it at the quickest rate possible, you wouldn't bother doing this. If you want to do this the safest way possible, definitely do this. Typically having the battery, even if it's dead flat, still connected up to the display. Swapping displays, you have various, have a chance of blowing various circuits in the device itself, which, I don't really want to risk that. So the easiest way is to simply disconnect that battery. Do note that this screw right here has so far been smaller than the rest. All these other screws so far, excluding that one, all look to be the same size. Yep. There we go. So from here, be able to use some tweezers to lift this up. We'll need to lift this up as well. I uh, still do have one screw left right there. There we go. Screws same size as everything else. There we go. Here we can also see the mechanism for the pop-up display, which personally I do find that fairly cool. As you can see, it is slowly developing a wear mark on the actual flex connector itself. Just something to note. From here, I'm going to disconnect the battery. And now I should be perfectly safe to remove or to disconnect and reconnect a new display. Next up from here, I'm going to focus down the bottom section of the phone where I'll take this cover off as well. And um, it's highly likely that all these screws here are going to be the same length. So apart from excluding that single screw, everything else looks to be of the same, the same size. And do note, while I'm working on this, I've still had my heat mat turned on to 75 degrees Celsius, which is quite toasty. 
which coming up next, the frame of the phone is going to have a fair bit of heat in it. So that's not going to be pleasant to deal with, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. There we go, and we're in. So here we got the charger port down here, or charger board, but we want to focus on here. Now, I'll take this tape off. This tape mightn't be necessary, but at the moment it looks like it's going to be. There we go. For the sake of making this a bit easier for me, I'm going to remove this completely. And now I'm going to fold this connection up. There we go. So from there, I've now got my screen disconnected. And from here, with a little bit of help of a pry tool, I should be able to take this damaged display off. Back to pry tool and isopropyl. Now, do just want to get between the the plastic frame and the display. Hopefully you guys can see it there. It should be the plastic trim around the display and then the, the display itself. There we go. So I'm just gonna keep going around this. At least for a little bit. There we go, back under. There we go. So from here I'm just going to make sure that I got all the glue off it, which I should just be able to run a small, small flathead screwdriver around the outer perimeter. There we go. That was a bit of plastic that did get chopped. Right there that just fell down. You, know, you would have missed that one, sorry. Didn't have you guys in frame. There we go. I'm just gonna take it off camera and have a quick look. Right now I'm pretty happy with that. Um, That's looking all good. Now looking at the old one, funnily enough, you can actually catch that on camera. See the dot down here? You can actually see the under display fingerprint reader. So kind of cool, which if I flip it around the right way, that's it there. Another thing to note when you're gluing down the display is that up here, there's a small little camera. You can see it reflecting just above my finger. So try to be a bit, yeah, a bit cautious on the amount of glue you put down at the top here, as that is also the earpiece speaker right there. So just, just points of caution anyway. Now as well, to note that on this one, there is the mesh for the front facing camera. On my one, there is not. So I'm gonna have to move that over as well which should be pretty straightforward. At least I hope so. That may be missed. Here we go. I'm just gonna sit it there like so. And now I'm gonna use some, um, where will I go? I feel like going B7800 this time. Could also go B7000, but I'm just gonna go black just because of the black trim that's there already. No real other reason. Uh, a bit of excess glue there, and clear this off. There we go, delicious. Now, let's go.
Now at the top here is where I'm going to stop using it. There we go. Dob just there. Just add that front facing camera in. Excellent. Now I'm pretty happy with it. Now from here it's a matter of lining it up, feeding through the bottom section of your display, not getting your adhesive on your fingertip. Tips. Um, let's go. I'm just going to feed that down. Fold it back on itself like a book. There we go. Make sure you still get your mesh in position up the top there. And I'm just gonna lightly massage that, rocking it back and forth to fall into with the gaps. Find OLED displays, if you use too much force pushing directly down, it will probably crack the display. So I find it's wobbling it side to side. It tends to also do an equally good job. Cool, so I'm now happy with that. Put that back down, and now I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure on it just to make sure it's all in position. And now it's right to proceed with the reverse of what we just did. So that will entail putting the flex cable connector back on. So I'm going to turn my heat off my heat pad. I'm going to put the back cover on my heat pad just to heat it up, make that, hopefully get that gasket pretty tacky, even while the heat mat's off. So I'll connect the display at the top here. Push down, click. Now I wanna fold this over down here. With that folded over, connect up the daughter board like so. I'm pretty happy with that connection. Pull this back up and over again. There is a little bit of movement in there when I'm pushing it. There we go. Now I need to put these screws back in. I am putting it in on an angle, or angling it down and then pulling it towards me. Luckily for us, all these screws here are the same. So you don't have to really be too cautious about it. There we go, now we're gonna do the screws up the top. Now let's get these top screws back in. So also while we're here, we need to connect the battery back up. Perfect time to test your display before you go too far. There we go, connect it up, connect it up. Now I'm putting that in on an angle here and folding it down. So push it all the way to the top and then pull it down. Now we need to put in the uh, Phillips head screws. Now if memory serves me correct, that there was the little screw. Maybe in there. So I'm gonna screw that screw in with extreme caution in a second. Once I've done or screwed in all the screws that I know where they need to go. I'm going to turn my heat mat back on as I want to heat up the back cover. The broken back cover at that. But I've been told to fix the screen, so I'll focus on the screen. Granted, a new back cover, you're probably spending anywhere from about, I would be guessing, probably $5 to $15 Australian. So probably like $2 to $5 US. Maybe completely wrong with that estimate, but that's how much I would typically expect something like that to be. Uh, being Xiaomi, I'm not sure if there's knockoffs of Xiaomi back covers as a, like compared to stuff places like 
Samsung phones? But there very well maybe, actually. Something I want to look into.